This is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in Eastern Henrico. Today we're going to take a look at a five bedroom, three and a half bath, big boy. This big boy is located here in a nice quiet subdivision. We are in a cul-de-sac, and uh, as a result, there's not going to be much traffic at all that comes through this area. Upon my arrival, I chatted a little bit with the neighbor next door, and he was kind enough to share with me that uh, he has been here for uh, about 16 years and uh, really enjoys it here at this location. This home is relatively new construction, built in 2020. This is a custom home, and uh, this home has a bunch of bells and whistles that uh, I've never seen before or have never videoed before. I've done over 1,200 homes here in Metro Richmond, and uh, this one definitely is unique in many ways. We are situated on almost four acres, and of course, most of this is going to be wooded, so we've got good privacy here. Uh, definitely have great pride of ownership. Uh, I was complimenting a uh, next door neighbor on how good uh, his yard looks, and uh, so we definitely have a nice, nice location. This home does feature a two-car side entry garage. Uh, here in the rear, we've got a nice, location here for entertaining uh, because not only do we have a in-ground pool but we also have a full-blown basketball court and so uh, if you want to practice your breaststroke you can do that when you get tired of that you can of course practice your jump shot now there aren't many homes that can boast those features uh, once we go downstairs you're in for some more treats this is definitely a sports lover's paradise here in this beautiful estate this time of year, you may remember, we have a event that is put on by the Richmond Times Dispatch, and it's called the Best Of. And uh, I inevitably go into Keith Sweat mode. Uh, Keith Sweat, for those of you that don't know, is a 61-year-old R&B singer-songwriter. He had his first album in the late 80s, and uh, Keith Sweat was known for his passionate pleas. Uh, those passionate pleas were typically made of women and those pleas by some people is known as begging uh, i'm not going to beg but i do want your support to nominating me for best agent in richmond and i will put the link below in the description so if you'd be kind enough to support me uh, they ask for a phone number uh, but they are not going to spam you and so if you would just uh, find my name and go ahead and acknowledge that nomination i would appreciate it uh, the nominations will end in april 25th uh, so we've got a few days to do so okay as we come in you can see we have a nice dramatic entrance here to the left is going to be a space that would be perfect as a home office or library or playroom uh, we do have those glass doors this is going to be lvp on the floor one of the things I noticed about this beautiful home is throughout, we have jacks that make it very suitable to put televisions on the wall. Uh, so that was uh, definitely well thought out. One of the other interesting facts about this home is that I know the builder. And so he uh, definitely is a, a person that I know has great pride of craftsmanship in the projects that he uh, undertakes. Uh, I've actually shown some homes before uh, that he has done, but definitely nothing of this caliber. Okay, this home does feature a first floor bedroom. So this is perfect. If you've got uh, someone visiting uh, that has mobility issues, they can use this bedroom as a guest bedroom. Uh, this is a large home, so I'm not gonna open every single closet as we go through, uh, just to keep it moving uh, nice and efficiently. We do have a full bath here uh, right next to that bedroom which is very nice i love the marble type floor that we have here uh, in this home we've got a nice mix of modern plumbing fixtures and you're definitely going to see that upstairs when we go into the primary suite directly ahead this of course is our family room area we have the steps of course going up uh, and of course the right is the foyer that we just entered uh, the home does have a gas log fireplace right there as the focal point and connections right above where you can mount a TV if desired. We have an oversized deck and we're going to pop out here and take a look at our deck and see what the view looks like here from the rear. 
This is a Trex material. Trex is a plastic composite, and you've seen it before. Uh, the thing I love about it, it is a low maintenance material, so you never have to worry about it rotting or needing to be stained uh, or warping. Some of the things that you do have to worry about with a traditional wood deck. And of course, there's plenty of space back here. You could put out a few uh, tables and chairs in your grill and just have a great time. As I mentioned earlier, this home is perfect for entertaining. All right, let's go in and take a look at this beautifully upgraded kitchen. They did an amazing job here with the kitchen. But before we go there, here to the left is going to be our informal dining space. Uh, so your dinette would go right under that light fixture. Notice you've got plenty of daylight that would come in through those windows. And of course, our gorgeous kitchen. Uh, we've got enough space here for about a dozen toddlers to get right up there underneath that granite countertop. Uh, 42 inch cabinets. We've got that stainless range hood, a uh, nice commercial style gas range and a refrigerator with ice and water in the door. This kitchen is complemented by a nice large pantry. Super convenient right there. And I want you to look at this tile work here, this backsplash tile work. We've got so much detail here uh, in this work. This is truly custom. All right, here on our gas range, that's gonna be five burner. And we've got that griddle there in the middle. You could throw a T-bone steak right there. And additional complement of cabinets here, but look what they did. We've got the microwave in the island because of course your microwave would normally go there where the range hood is. So very smart design. Uh, as we spin around, we also have our stainless dishwasher right there, an additional complement of cabinets. Of course, our double bowl sink. And we are going to go to the left here. This is going to take us back around. We just did a loop. This is going to be our dining room here. We've got crown molding in here. And uh, this is plenty of floor space here for even the largest of dining room tables. All right, this door is going to take us to our two car attached side entry garage. And we do have a pedestrian door in place. This home does have a sprinkler system as well. Our controller is right there on the wall. Okay, I am now going to take you downstairs. And this is where it really gets good, y'all. We have a cave. Now, you can see the dark paint. And one of the reasons for this is, uh, this is designed for home theater purposes. And home theaters, you want them to be dark so they're not competing with the light coming from uh, the television or the screen. So that's the thought process here. The AstroTurf, yes, it really is AstroTurf, is in place because this is a themed space. This is a football themed space. So what's more appropriate than AstroTurf? And speaking of appropriate, it only makes sense to make sure you have a powder room down here. This is a good size powder room too. Uh, we have a bar that's in the next room. So of course, it only makes sense to have a powder room that is close to the bar. All right, once again, we've got the connections on the wall so you can put your large screen in this space. Glass door, I've opened it, but you can see that we've got the glass door here for soundproofing between this room and our full-blown cave area with wet bar. So in here, we've got our wine cooler, plenty of cabinets, a small sink, and then additional uh, cabinetry here on this side. We've got a nice tall bar here, so you could get uh, several bar stools there, a uh, wine rack, uh, an additional space there for television. Uh, so this is truly set up for uh, entertaining. If you didn't want it as a cave area, this would be a great place for maybe a game room. You could put pool table, pinball machines. Uh, it could be a craft room, pretty much uh, gym, whatever you saw fit. Now, here is the feature that I've never covered before. So this here looks like a 
place where you put your pool sticks. Your pool sticks will go there and then your additional shelving here. But if you grab right here and pull, there you go. You have got under stair storage, but this isn't really storage. Now, if you look right there, see that little logo. It's the uh, door lo um, icon with a button. And then I'm gonna step in, hope I don't get trapped. This is a magnetic striker here. And if you can see, there's actually a wire, the red wire, and there's a white wire that's tucked back there. That connects to the strike plate that is right here. And if you're familiar with commercial doors and commercial locks, uh, that strike plate will energize with that wire and this will now turn into a safe room. So if something jumps off, you can come in here when it's time to go out, you simply push that button and it will release. But now you have a safe room. So we have never seen that before, but uh, that is a first. I guarantee you, you won't see another video today in Henrico County with a safe room. All right, let's pop outside and see what else we have in store back here. Of course, uh, I talked about the in-ground pool already, but it's not just any ordinary pool. That pool is a heated pool, not something we see very often. And here is the system. Uh, that is the tank for the pool. More importantly, this is the actual heater. And you can see it looks like a regular outdoor unit, except we've got those big pipes there. Those pipes, of course, go back through the filtration system underground and you actually heat the water. So you could be swimming out here in December. Uh, we've got two zone air, uh, air uh, outdoor units rather. Uh, this is a heat pump. So those will be running year round. And then under the crawl space, this is interesting because that blue tank that you see there, that is the pressure tank for the uh, well water. And then the two taller tanks there in the middle of the frame, that is a filtration system. We also have the indoor unit in the distance. Uh, that's a carrier unit. And of course, all of the insulation and ductwork. So that is the nice clean underbelly. This is going to be uh, probably irrigation lines here as well. So just wanted to pop in there and show you that real quick. All right, we're gonna go back inside and we're actually going to go upstairs. Okay, let's see what we have in store up on the second level. This is a very wide staircase. I know it's hard to tell scale sometimes on video, but it's a very wide staircase, which is really convenient if you're trying to bring furniture up and down stairs. To the right is going to be bedroom number one. Now, I love this home because we've got bedrooms that are all really good size. We don't have any tiny bedrooms. Uh, good natural light flows into this one. This home is very lightly lived in. We don't see any real signs of wear. It smells actually like a new home. This is our dedicated laundry room. Plenty of storage. We've got the utility sink. If you wanted to put some additional shelving in there, you could. Pull down attic. Our primary bedroom is right there. We're gonna save that to last. I'm gonna take you here to the other end of the home. This is our loft space. This is great if you wanted to just relax on the second level. You've got enough space up here for a large sofa, love seat, chair. You could really enjoy space up here without having to go downstairs. This home is perfect for multi-generational because we've got large bedrooms, we've got multiple common spaces, uh, and individuals can pool their money. You could have a, a son, mom, wife, uncle, all pool their money, qualify for a mortgage, and then it, it's just a, a good scenario. It makes it cheaper for everyone, and then you can live in a really nice home and have plenty of space. Okay, that was bedroom number three. This is gonna be our hall bath. 
double vanity. Once again, we've got that marble-like floor, a very good look. And then we've got our throne and our fiberglass tub shower here. This is gonna be a very large linen closet here. These are double doors, so we've got plenty of space here in this bathroom. I love that fixture. Look at that. Does that look amazing or what? That really is nice. All right, I'm taking you back now. This is going to be bedroom number four. This bedroom is big enough. You could get a king in here. And uh, this is the most conservative of the bedrooms. Still with a nice double closet there. And here to the left is going to be our primary bedroom. Now notice we've got double doors going in. We are in the rear corner of the home. Good natural light flows in. You could definitely get uh, with no problem uh, a king in here, enough space for uh, your furniture and even in a sitting area with no problem. All right, double doors going into the ensuite. Look at this. Simply amazing. Okay, this is going to be closet number one. This closet is approximately five feet wide. And here to the rear is going to be our stand-up shower, one shower head, and then we've got the overhead right there. Gorgeous tile work. This is absolutely stunning. I know some of you really are tub lovers, and here you are with a dedicated tub. Nice modern fixture. You even have the wand right there. You get up out of the suds, you want to rinse off. That wand makes it so very convenient. Double vessel sinks here, plenty of light overhead. And then we even have a glass block backsplash right there. Love that look. Our water closet is right here. And then our oversized closet here. This is a great size if you wanted to uh, do something with compartmentalization of the uh, closet system you could of course do that you've got enough space to do it you've got natural light that flows in this is just a stunning bathroom in a stunning home and uh, i know my my northerners are looking at this saying gosh all of this on about four acres only a three-year-old home for 900 or so thousand dollars that is simply amazing if you have questions about this or any other home in the market my name is max williams it'd be an honor for me to help please be sure to comment like and subscribe and make sure that you're kind enough to go ahead and nominate me for the best of contest i'm going to go ahead and put the link below in the descriptions max williams 804-402-7788 will reach on facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube, under my name, Max Windrealtorp. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.